Hello, I'm Bad Eye Brisket, the bonkers butcher of Birmingham. Welcome to my world. Thank you very much. Just mind on your back out. Oh dear. Oh dear, well that was the end of a uh, not so good enterprise. That's the rotisserie gone now. So we had a whole section in the shop at one point where we had a rotisserie for the chickens and also we sold, you know, cooked items like cooked sausages, bacon joints, all that kind of thing. And to be honest, in the end, it wasn't worth keeping it. We'd had it three years, and I don't know real life we'd made any profits. Um, <laughs> I'll tell you what it did do. It engendered some very funny stories. And right now, my, my wife Belinda's in bed. She's un inconsolable. I was choking it two old chickens in one go. Really? Her mouth is that big? But don't tell her I said that, right? So come in the back with me and I'll tell you all about the things that people used to say when they used to come in with their old chickens. Some of it's really funny. Eh? Alright, see you in a bit. Yeah, come round the back, it's, it's not far. Don't trip over anything, will you? Come in, come in, get, get, get yourself settled down. <laughs> I haven't got long because I've got a lot of sausage to make and a hind quarter to break down, right? So anyway, about this rotisserie that we had, we had it for about two or three years and we decided it wasn't profitable and we now have to fill the space with, with something else and I haven't decided on that yet. Um, so the, the rotisserie... It, 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 it engendered some quite funny stories actually. People would ask the most daft things about about the chickens. Now bear in mind like a, a full chicken right, would take an hour and ten minutes to cook at 180 degrees. There were people who'd come in the shop and they'd look at them and they'd say but uh, is it possible to take one of those chickens? And I'd say oh, no no no, no bab. <laughs> They're not done yet you know, they've got at least another half hour on them. And they said could you get one out for me? and put it in a bag and I'll cook the rest of it when I get home. <laughs> what are they like, eh? What are they? But have people ask if they were freshly cooked or were they yesterday's? Well, what do you think? Do you think he's been spinning around all night? Oh, damn, eh? Right, one person, right, over the, over the road today, we had a sign because we didn't just cook hot chickens, we had sausages and we had some chicken portions and we had some, some bacon joints, right? So we decided to put a sign above it, it said Hot Delay, which I thought was fair enough. And one woman came in, she said, I wouldn't have any of that, but I. And I said, w What? She said, The chicken out of there? I said, Why not? She said, It's too spicy for me. I said, Well, we do with the chickens, you know, we've got plain and, and a variety of different types. She said, No, no, no. She said, that sign there, she said, it comes from Hot Delhi, and Delhi's in India, and they only have spicy food over there. You couldn't make it up, could you? <laughs> you really couldn't make it up. And then, what, what was the other one? She said, I'm trying to think of this one. Oh, yes, we'd have them in a tray. Once they'd been cooked, we'd have them in a tray in a nice display area, right? And I could remember what they were, because they are in a particular order. So they were small plain, large plain, Barbecue, garlic, extra tasty, and put a put Right, and somebody said to me, I said, well, tell me that again, but I. And I must have gone through this about half a dozen times. Is that small plain, large plain, barbecue, extra tasty, garlic, and put a put I didn't catch that, but I. Small plain, large plain, extra tasty, garlic, barbecue, and put a put And they said, I'm sorry. And I said, I'll tell you in a different way, right? And they said, I think I'll have the pura pura place. There's a funny story around this, right? The pura pura ones, of course, they're really quite hot, right? And if there was ever a customer who I didn't like, and they asked for a plain one, sometimes they'd accidentally get the pura pura ones. <laughs> I wouldn't like to have been there arse the next morning. <laughs> I can tell you, we have people bringing stuff back as well, the, the next day they left it in the, the paper bag and they, they bring it back and one woman said, but I, but I, I'm very disappointed in you, and I said, oh god dear, what's that, this is this hot chicken I bought yesterday, it's not got any mates on it, 
I said, well that can't be right. I said, well let's have a look. And she opened it and, and she shoved it in my face practically. She said, there? She got the bloody chicken upside down and she... <laughs> Oh goodness my! I met another one who told me it was raw in the middle. And I thought, I thought no, no, I said that's not possible. We, you know, we're very, we're very good with the hygiene. Eh? We have to cook it at certain temperatures and we probe it and check it all the time. She said, no. She said, here it is. Look, it's raw in the middle. It's pink. Oh, let me have a look. I said, let me have a look. I opened that one. That was a bacon joint. What time, eh? Is that people who, who, who said, now nah, I can't afford a whole chicken, but I. And apart from chicken portions, that's all we did, right? And one woman said, is it nearly done? I said, yes, it's got five minutes. She says, when it's done, can you take it out to the rotisserie and can you cut it in half for me and just sell me off? I said, no. No, go to Smerik. I said, <laughs> The daftest story of the lot was when a husband and wife, uh, who were quite, you know, politically correct, came back with their, their cooked chicken at about an hour after they brought it. They were fuming. <laughs> and she, 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 I said, this is disgusting, Mr. Brisket. I always know when people call me Mr. Brisket, there's going to be a problem. I said, this is disgusting, Mr. Brisket. I said, what's wrong with it? She said, this animal, this chicken, has been cruelly dispatched. I said, no, I'll put it in a nice bag for you. And she said, I don't mind that. She said, don't be facetious with me. She said, this animal has been shot. I said, you what? She said, it's been shot. There's an hole in it. There's an hole and the bullet's gone from one side out through the other side. I said, let show me. And I looked at this piece of chicken. And of course, all the chickens in the rotisserie go around on a spike. And that's what the hole was. And I said, oh dear, I said, I think you're right. It has been shot through with the spike. When we put them in there, how do you think they go round and round in the rotisserie? And they just looked at me. They kept the chicken on the side and they just stormed off. <laughs> oh dear, man. People are so stupid sometimes. They really are. Anyway, thanks very much for, for being here and listening to my stories. I'm sure there's loads more than that, but they're the ones I wrote down. Because I wanted some fond memories of the rotisserie as I waved it, you know, goodbye down the road. I'm not sure what it's gone to. Rotisserie heaven, I expect. I scrubbed that machine like it was brand new when it was, when it was gone out the shop. Oh dear, they're making me well up a bit now. Anyway, thanks for listening to a lot of it. As usual, don't forget to like this, share it, and also subscribe to 60 Plus Sit Down Comedy YouTube site and check out the website as well. All right, once again, to a lot of it, uh, happy mate-eating. <laughs> hey, all right, yeah, all right, got loads of sausage to make now. I'm making some tomato sausage. Just for those people whose heads live in the 1970s. Got loads of tomatoes, loads of pork. Here we go. That's my afternoon sorted out. Take care. <laughs> Bye.